guys and welcome back to my channel for another SDI episode and we are heading to to the nuclear power plant it's time it's time to come full circle I guess <laughs> yeah this is I think this is literally where the last phase of the game is going to you know you know the last arc of the game you know this purple A's light thing everything's coming together now and I think we're we're going to trade our places back with Strelok and uh, you know things will uh, the timeline will continue that's what I wanted to say that doesn't look like military warehouses to me. Does not look like the the Freedom Base. There's too many trees. But uh, now I, I'm kind of curious, and I want to see. So now we have to go and see. Some neutral guys here. Probably stalkers, I wouldn't be surprised. Guns everywhere that I didn't pick up. More, more Sweet Dreams music. Yeah. Everything's coming together now. Yeah, I know, I already said it. It's the dead commander guy that we killed so many moons ago. Well, he deserved it, so... Yeah, there's no trees here, what the hell? That picture is, <laughs> is a lie. It would be nice to see the, the levels actually redesigned. Maybe someone will do like a remake and redesign the levels make them with more trees and crap that would probably be better just saying just saying <laughs> imagine passing this mod to to run on the radiophobia free engine that would be freaking awesome if you know what I mean oh yeah of course Oh, now you're running. Now you're running. Very funny. Yeah, I just want to stop here real quick. See if there's anything of value. Because I kind of ignored this place. Because there were enemies. And yeah. Oh. I'll take all of those. And all of those too. And those. Although I... I have plenty of supplies. You'll never know. You never know. What's right around the next corner. So yeah. The, these two mods that I think that I'm reaching the end. Which is... Uh, uh, this mod. SDI and Stalker Soup. I think Stalker Soup will actually end very soon. If I'm not... If I'm not mistaken. But, uh... I won't be surprised if they, like, release a new update with, uh, with the next section of the mod. I'll be like, uh... I just hope that the, the save games actually work from, you know... So you don't have to, to start everything again from the beginning in order to, to get to that section of the mod because that would really really suck you would probably lose uh, all your items and all your guns and that's not good <laughs> I'll just leave him I think I, already, I had the same reaction last time that I was here I just saw him vibing and then you know just let him vibe let the men five in peace. 
But yeah, fun. Fun. I don't know why I haven't planned what I'm going to replace Stalker Soup with yet. But uh, there are a lot of mods. You have True Stalker, you have uh, Radiophobia Free, you have uh, NLC, you have so much variety. Well, SDI is part of a uh, five mod mods questline, storyline, if you know what I mean. So after this one, there will be the third mod on the series, as this one is the second. I forgot the name, it has something to do... Duty Philosophy of War, that's it. That'll be the next one. Now, Stalker Soup? Hmm. I don't know yet. Uh, some people suggested me to... To just do a joint pack 2.2 playthrough, but I'm like, Jesus Christ, I just finished Stalker Soup. Stalker Soup is that huge. And you want me another huge mod. Boy. I don't know if I, I'll be if I'll have the call it the patience to do it. But uh, well maybe in the future, who knows? There's so many mods. I kinda wanna re re redo SGM at least until the the part that is, uh, what do you call it? Um, till I start the commentary. If you know what I mean. Because I think I started the first third of the series without commentary and then, you know, yada yada yada. Kinda, I think that was the mod that I really started doing. The the commentary, yeah. It was SGM actually. It's also a very good mod, also a giant mod. But I, I would only do until uh until uh, I start doing commentary. And that's that. Although I do enjoy the mod and there's like a lot of var variations of SGM 2.2, all with it with their quirks and visuals. I don't know. I don't know, really. It's too much, too much, too much to... to select from. So much variation. <laughs> you have enough content to play for the next 300 years. Pretty much. Pretty much. Nope. It's like I picked up everything that was here. Yeah, I just wanted to check real quick if, that, if I had left anything behind. But I did not. Also, I can't go out of windows for some reason. Um, so yeah. It's been an amazing path in Stalker Soup. I never thought I would be able to to finish that mod, to be honest. I would also want to... I know that this has nothing to do with that, but to finish the, the unfinished mods, like uh, Return of Scar, uh, I found the, you know, the 64 Bishon that has... Bishon? <laughs> version that has both episodes, episode 1 and 2. So I kind of want to pick up from where I left. I still have the mod installed, that version, 64-bit version. I haven't played much so far, but I'll probably pick up till where I left, where the game crashed and was like, no, you can't proceed. And I would also like to do that to RMA Autumn Edition, for example. Yeah, EBR mod and Misery were like, uh, I kind of lost the interest because uh, they felt like, uh, I don't know, too vanilla. Like, eh, this is more of the same. I kind of gave up. But yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll get there when we'll get there. Also, Clear Sky LFO. 
it's proving to be uh, a bigger mod than I actually thought. Also pretty enjoyable, I can't really complain. So, yeah. I don't think we'll have it. any trouble dealing with these people. Hello? Oh yeah, baby. Let's go! the heck? The hell is wrong with you? Okay. That shouldn't be a reason still. There we go. There we freaking go. Come on, baby. You can do it. Let's get out, let's get in again. Oh yeah, look at that! Now we're cooking with gas, boys! Now we're cooking with gas. There's no way in heck that they'll be able to stop us. Oh, but we're driving this thing. Except the tree, a tree can stop us. Guess I'll have to go all the way around. Well, that's okay. Yeah, this thing is a little bit hard to maneuver, but uh, don't worry, I'm on it. I'm one of the best, one of the most skilled drivers in the zone. <laughs> don't believe me? Watch my videos and see me, see how much of a great driver I am. Yes, do you want something? Of course you do. Yeah, buddy. Nice try. Oh, you, you silly, silly man. Can't do anything about this. Funny how that guy kind of recreated. <laughs> fast <laughs> when you saw this thing coming around the corner. Yeah, you can't do anything. I'm fully armored, thank you very much. I really don't know where I need to go. I mean, I do know where I need to go. Okay, fine. I'll go through here. Well, 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 that was uh, very silly. I thought I had the upper hand, but the upper hand had me. Now I have to start all the way from here. That's freaking fantastic. You know what? Uh, let's leave the driving and let's just walk, shall we? And I don't want to fall into another death hole, if you know what I mean. After that, that was very, very embarrassing. The most skilled driver in the zone, I was saying. Sure. There's one left. Really? Did he hide? I was trying to see if I could hear him, but nothing's. It's like this place has been uh, abandoned, if you know what I mean. I think they just moved their, uh, what's they called, their garrisons elsewhere. They were like, oh yeah, there's no point being here, there's nothing of importance here. Uh, let's just, uh, you know, leave this place. There's no one coming here. No one of importance, I would say. Or so they thought. 
because Slavin is coming and he's not bearing gifts. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could drive this one. No, that one had, had an accident. Oh, I see you. I think... Can I drive this one? Are you going to shoot at me? No. Interesting. Another abandoned one. Hmm. Okay. I drive you. Can I drive you? No, I can't. I wish I could, though. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. Um, oh, it looks like we don't don't have to go through the inside. And just go through here. Apparently, there's a transition here. It should make things more easy, if you know what I mean. Oh. I'm going through the wrong place, though. Hmm. I have the train. Is it the train? No. Oh, so I do need to go through... Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Forget about it. But I could just, you know, skip that part, but apparently not. Apparently not. Oh well. It is what it is. It has been a, a nice, a nice uh, cold trip. Almost uneventful. With only a few soldiers guarding this place. Not that I mind, which I absolutely don't. No, I don't want to go back there. Yeah, I know, this part is bleh, bleh, but there's nothing that I can do about it. There's not a lot in here. And these parallel dimension things are not very fun either. As I was hoping that I could stay in this parallel dimension, apparently I can't. We have to get things back to normal. So Strella can come back and, uh, you know, resume the original timeline. Or come back to, to this dimension or timeline or whatever. I don't know. I honestly do not know what's going on anymore. <clears throat> All I know is that I am falling from the ladders over and over again. <laughs> come on, Slavin, what the hell are you doing? Well, there we go. It's that thing. It's that speaker that did all of this. I tell you. Now we're getting deeper and deeper into the lab. And soon enough we'll emerge back in the surface. So we can talk to the sci rogue scientists that became rogue because uh, no one cared about them. And they became rogue. Which is pretty sad, if you know what I mean. They were just abandoned by their country and left to rot. Not fun. <clears throat> I think the thing that we are also looking for should be in the control room, if I'm not mistaken. 
could have just come through there. Oh well, it is what it is. No, nothing there. Nothing of use. Let's see if there's anything here. I don't think there's anything here. Is it here? Can't find anything. I think it's this. Ray, nothing happened. Let's talk to the scientist and see what happens. I think we might have to shoot at them. <laughs> we'll shoot them in the foot and see if they are not trying to kill us. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. Wonder how, uh, how they survived for so long being here. Oh. Okay, well, that's interesting. Hello. Hey, buddy. Good afternoon, General. I'm looking for a ghost, and I'm also looking for a flash drive with a movement machine activation code. Oh, Slab and Buddy, where have you been? Well, it's a long story. Well, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, so I went to the power plant to get parts for the defective radio. The radio went up in flames that day. You've told me about the radio 20 times, then what happened? When I came back, I was in 2014, and most unpleasant thing, in another world. Do you understand what I mean? I understand that, so you want to go back? Oh yeah, wrong world for me, here. <laughs> I agree with you, you're thinking right about the flash drive and ghost. Find the flash drive, ghost will give it to Strelok. If you meet Strelok, you'll go back to your place. These are the words of ghost. Uh, I had a flash drive. The Jonies took it away from me on the way out of the sarcophagus. And where do I find it now? Uh, if I'm not completely crazy, and I'm not crazy, Slavin, although it's common to think of myself as a fool, so as crazy and as a fool, though those are big differences, don't matter. Anyway, I think the flash drive will be at number 4, also known as General Burger. Burger is in charge of the NATO command, or as they are called here, NATO Joes or Johnnies. This bastard is very dangerous, he used to be head of security at the apocalypse, and I think we have to shoot him. Well, that's what I wanted to do anyway. Uh, don't try to negotiate with Burger. It may work, I mean, a verbal solution to the problem, but just shoot him, no matter what happens. He has a USB stick. Whether he has it or not, do you see those poor people floating in front of their own shadows? Uh, we were on an expedition led by Burger to the power plant. We've already worked for him. The equipment registered an Im imminent emission. Burger hid in the control room and locked himself in. And we stayed outside. I was lucky I was so heavily drunk and immediately <laughs> fell over, so I didn't really burn out. Uh, Roger that, I'll do everything on my conscience. See you later, General. What? What do you mean by that? Uh, okay. So. This is going to be a long trip back, isn't it? I guess so. Well, I'm going to end this session here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you guys next time.